This is another Cursed Carps video for you. This is uh, Scott Cameron and Nathan. We're here, we're going to show you how to put a straight flight of stairs in today. So we're going to start, we're going to get, we're going to dry fit the normal posts onto these Morton mortars. We dry fit them, check they all fit nice and snug, all nice and good. We pull them back off, we have a bit of glue on here, a bit of glue on there. We glue down the dowel holes, bang some dowels in so they're flush on the inside. We can chop them off and then that's the normal set out. Come on. So, goes on there. So that fits all nice and snug, lovely. Right, the next thing we do is we throw a bit of glue in here. Let it down there, more the merrier. On that. Like that. Two dials, yeah? Yes, please. Bring that in there. Right, the next step, we want to fit this to the bottom. Right, we'll dry fit it first, make sure it's all good. So you slide that ball nose into there. Like that. Snap. Ten. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pull that back out. Glue across there. Glue in there. A little bit in there. Doesn't matter if it drips. Stays in. So that goes on there. Snap. In plug. Yeah. Come around this side. Where this, the tread is. Where that is. Mm -hmm. Dollop a bit of glue in there, dollop a bit of glue in there. Your witch, goes in, down. Bang, that's not the tread dropping. You bang him home. That's not the tread kicking out. The way here is, you can't fit a wedge on this one, this bit. What I tend to do is throw a couple of drywall screws through there, into the null, yeah. and it holds that firm as well. So. That can't go anywhere. Sweet. Next thing to do to this bottom is add the riser. This is our top plate. This laps over, so you cut back the flooring, yeah. and this laps onto the joist. The very top tread. The top tread is the joint, the, the, the flooring upstairs. That merges it in. Don't know you didn't yet. These are our risers. So we should have two of them. They should both be the same size roughly. It's a straight flight. Sometimes you need to cut these down, sometimes you don't. Depends on, depends on the manufacturer, what you've got. Again, one of those jobs we go stick it in. Right, so we've got this sitting in the way now. Can you see the um, the dial, yeah. Dowel's in the way. Yeah. That's that off. Nice and finished. Then this, literally, which don't need to come back. Lovely, nice and easy fits for us. Does it go a certain way or does it literally just slide? No, like slides in. Got to go into your groove. Yep. So. Bang him up. That's dry fitted. That fits lovely. Glue. Glue up there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Glue across the top. Glue up there. Loads of glue. Don't be afraid of the glue. That's it. We're going to fix five screws down there. Okay. okay, so what I always tend to do is stick one in the middle first. On top. Oi. Right. Right, 
Yeah. And then, like we did previously, firing. Get a dry fit, make sure it's all good. So you check out well, the certain jobs you have to look, you have to cut into your null post to sit it onto the joist. And we've got this to check now. So obviously this is the top tread that blends into the floor. Yeah. With that as it is, we won't need to cut anything out of the null post because you've got 50, a 50 mil came there, which is enough to sit onto the joist. So now we, we need to notch out a bit of the top knob so it sits onto the joist and creates a uh, strengthening support. Right, so we, what we need to do with that is we need to make sure we have our joist heights. So our joists are 225. Where our top knob is. We know this is, the, this is the top of the joist here, which is where that's going to be sitting. And that will come down to 225 which is here, at which point we use square, square this up, like so, square it up, like so, and then we have sorry, 25 mil, look at that, and that Andy, 25 mil, straight along there, because that's how much we're notching out for it, yeah? To the null yeah. is 25 millimeters. The riser butts straight against the joist. So you know you need to cut enough of this out that you're in line with the riser. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. This section is all coming off. And that's the house over the joist. Best way to get this cut, I find it by doing consecutive cuts across it at the right depth you need and then you can use a chisel to smooth it out at the end. Finish with that. And that, put your house in. Let's go over the joist. It's the exact same process again as we did with the bottom one. Loads of glue, don't be afraid of it. Glue and dowel holes. Bit of glue on here. Down there, 
you want to probably tip it, start from the bottom and pull it out. Because it's easy, because it gravity works, works for you. Yeah. And then glue the top of this. Try to fit it back in again. Have a Gentle taps. Yeah. And don't split the wood. Just by tap all the way in and then slide them in afterwards. Okay, we'll make that. during the second fix phase. What we're going to do is we're going to fix every couple of treads from our Texas straight through. Our pack is going to be a 12 and 18 mil pipe planted together to make a 30 mil packer. We'll fix through into the block work, fix the top treads, level the stairs, well, we'll level the stairs up, then fix through, and then the stairs ready to go. Sorted. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. 
Face. And that's how you build a straight flight of stairs. Uh, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe if you're new. And uh, we'll catch you next time.